1.4d, Simplify Algebraic Expressions, Distributive Property. Multiplication is repeated addition. Just like we learned with exponents that was repeated multiplication, it is a shortened version of doing a more simple task. This means that 3 multiplied by 2x plus 5 is actually repeated addition, meaning that we do 2x plus 5 and add it together 3 times. This would look like 2x plus 5 plus 2x plus 5 plus 2x plus 5. As you can see, this is much longer than merely saying we had 3 times the 2x plus 5. In this example, if we combined all of the like terms, meaning all of the 2x's, or remember a like term is merely something that has similar variables and exponents, and then all of the numbers, we would have 2x plus 2x plus 2x, which means we would do 2 plus 2 plus 2, which would give us 6x's. Then we have 5 plus 5 plus 5, which gives us 15. Therefore, 3 times 2x plus 15 is 6x plus 15. There is also a property that helps to shorten this process and allows us not to have to turn our multiplication problems into repeated addition. This property is called the distributive property. It uses multiplication to do the same process. What we do is we take the 3 and we multiply it by the first term inside. 3 times 2x means we multiply the two numbers together, giving 6 x's. Secondly, we multiply the 3 by the second term inside, which would result in 3 times 5, which is positive 15. As you can see, we got the same result as when we turned it into a repeated addition. The distributive property fits into the order of operations in the multiply step because it is actually multiplying the 3 times those pieces or terms that are inside of a parenthesis. It is not considered a parenthesis step. It is considered multiplication. In the order of operations, or PEMDAS. In example one, we have a negative four times the quantity 2x plus 5y minus seven. As you can see, inside of the parentheses, there is nothing that can be combined because none of the terms has similar variables and exponents. Therefore, we must go to the next step which would be distribution or the multiplication of the negative 4 to everything inside. You must remember that the negative is with the 4 and therefore must also be distributed. We start by doing negative 4 times 2x, which gives us negative 8x. The second step is negative 4 times a positive 5y. When we have negative 4 times a positive 5, remember it gives us a negative 20 because a negative times a positive is a negative. The y is still there. Finally, the third distribution is when we have negative 4 times negative 7. Remembering that a negative times a negative is a positive means we get a positive 28. At this point, we can see that none of these terms will combine, as none of them are like terms. We therefore circle our answer. 
In example two, we will do another distribution problem. In this case, the number out front is a positive number. We follow the same steps by multiplying the seven times the nine x squared. Seven times nine is 63. And remember, we must write the x squared. The second step is seven times negative seven, which gives us a negative 49 x. Finally, we have seven times positive eight, which gives us a positive 56. This is our final answer, as none of these terms has the same variable and exponent. Therefore, none are like terms. Remember that when you use the distributive property, especially in a problem that involves more operations, it is treated as a multiplication step. It is not a parentheses step.